As we think about puts and calls, it's important that you have something to relate a put or a call to in your ordinary life. Get your notebook ready and write this down. Puts can be thought of as insurance. I'm talking about any type of insurance. Pretty much anyone who's watching this course has had some sort of insurance that they've had to buy, whether it's homeowner's insurance, life insurance, car insurance, etc. Start thinking in terms of puts as similar to insurance. This person, Warren Buffett, we're very familiar with. And the reason we're familiar with him is because he happens to be one of the richest people on planet Earth. But what is really interesting to me is that he's actually one of the biggest option sellers on planet Earth. And that's because he owns one of the largest insurance companies, Geico, which falls under Berkshire Hathaway. So Warren Buffett, because he owns an insurance company, is constantly taking in premiums that are similar to puts, and then he has an obligation. What I want you to think about is insurance right now. Let's kind of go through what happens when you purchase insurance. The first thing that happens whenever you buy insurance is you pay a premium. That's the amount of money that you're gonna pay for the policy. It could be quarterly, it could be monthly, it could be annual. You're gonna pay that to the insurance company. In return, you're gonna receive a policy or protection. So in the example that we're gonna go through, I want you to think about homeowner's insurance. What do you do as buying insurance? Well, you go out and you pay for a policy. The insurance company gives you that policy and then they decide to make you whole if something negative were to occur, damage. Let's go ahead and see what a policy actually looks like. So in this image, you have the person who's selling the insurance, the insurance company, and you agreeing on a contract with a face value. So for this example, we're gonna talk about home insurance. Let's say your home is worth $100,000. You want insurance in case there's damage that occurs. Well, let's go through what a policy would look like in certain outcomes. You buy insurance on your home, the insurance company sells you the insurance. So, Let's start from the left here. If the home has damage, what happens from the insurance company's perspective? Well, the insurance seller, they keep the premium, right? You paid your premium for that protection. In return, they're gonna pay for the repairs on your home. They're basically gonna make you whole on your house. You, the insurance buyer, did what? You pay a premium and in return, you receive money for your home. Now, if we come over here to the right side of the screen, what most of the time happens, and what is most common, is the home does not have damage. And so, what happens? The insurance seller keeps your premium, you, the insurance buyer, pay your premium. So the important thing to know, on the right side of the screen, if damage does not occur, only, the only thing that tra trades hands is the premium. Let's now take the same example, but do it for puts. So here's our example. You buy insurance on your stock by buying puts. So if you're long stock and you're worried that the stock is gonna fall in value, one way to protect yourself is by buying a put. It's like buying insurance. The put writer, the person who sold, sold the put, they're actually gonna sell protection. So let's look at what happens if in the event the stock settles below the strike at expiration. Well. If you're the put seller, you're gonna keep the premium just like an insurance house does, but they're gonna have an obligation to buy stock at the strike. They're gonna make you whole on your stock. The put buyer, you, the one who bought the protection, bought the put to protect your stock from falling, you're gonna pay your premium, and in return, you're gonna have the right to sell your stock at the strike kind of like the face value of a homeowner's policy. Let's go over here to the right. Let's say that at expiration, the stock does not settle below the strike. Well, what happens? Very similar to insurance. The put seller keeps all the premium. You, the put buyer, paid the premium. And that's all you lose when you buy puts, is the premium spent. 
So whenever we talk about puts, and you're thinking about in terms of insurance, when you go and you insure your home, the amount that you have to pay in terms of premium is a fraction of the amount of the face value of the home. Think about that whenever you're thinking about puts. It's the same type of concept. To insure your stock, you're only going to have to pay a fraction in premium to protect your downside risk.